Hi, I'm Keith Welch. Welcome to iOS in-app purchasing. In this lesson, I'm going to give you a brief introduction, an idea of what the course is about and why, and an overview of the topics we're going to cover. We'll also talk a little bit about me and my credentials. In-app purchasing is a way to provide extra services and make money beyond the original app price, if there is any. In fact, at this time, Android has a large sales lead in new devices being shipped. However, the Apple App Store still has a large lead for developers in terms of the income they get from apps, about five-fold at the latest count. A lot of that income comes from in-app purchasing as opposed to the original app price, so this is a very effective way of generating income. We're also going to talk about iAds, which is another way of generating income and can provide significant income for your app. In-app purchasing can facilitate purchasing from iTunes, iBook, and app purchases. And as we'll see, that's really easy to do. But it can also allow your app to provide extra features that a user can buy. There are different types of features that can be purchased. They can be consumables. They're sort of like credits or points that can be used within an app, but they're consumed, so the user would have to rebuy them when they run out. There's also non-consumables, like unlocking some sort of premium feature. Also, purchase downloadable content. Movies or magazines, perhaps. Maybe images, videos that sort of thing. And there's also subscriptions to be purchased as well. So there are a number of options that we'll be talking about. The first thing we'll work through is the SK Store Product View Controller. And this is for the iTunes, iBook, and app purchases. And as I mentioned, it's really easy to set up and use. And the iOS operating system provides the UI for you. Then we'll move on to in-app purchases. And we'll talk about the different options and types of purchases and how to set it up in the App Store. And there's quite a lot to the setup. And also, there's a fair amount to setting up a sandbox environment that you can test in before going live, which, of course, is what you would want to do. Then we'll go about actually making the purchase, and we'll work through subscription purchases, which adds another layer of complexity. And we'll also talk about hosted content, the downloads that you can provide in response to a user's purchase. And finally, we'll take a look at iAds, which, again, is one of those really simple things to do and can generate money within your app without having to go through in-app purchasing code. I'm Keith Welch, and I've got 30 years in the industry. I have 10 years in .NET and 10 years in mobile. I started out with .NET on Pocket PCs back when Palm Pilot and Pocket PCs were the big choices. Now I work in iOS and Android, and on occasion Windows Mobile still is some legacy. I also work in ASP.NET, WCF, Windows Forum, SQL Server, and data migrations. In terms of languages, Objective-C, Java, C-Sharp, VB, JavaScript, and jQuery. I'm the founder and owner of Mooseworks Software, and you can take a look at that at mooseworksoftware.com. And I specialize in mobile developer tools and have been supplying those tools for 10 years, as well as custom app development. If you have any questions about the course or are interested in any kind of services that Mooseworks might provide, I'm at keith at mooseworksoftware.com. So now let's go learn something.